Hi, today we're going to look at the Butio Aquila Mark II, which is their two-person hides. Now I've been using the Butio Photo Hide for some time now, and it's been appearing in my YouTube videos. So we'll just have a quick recap as to why I use the Butio so much. It's become my go-to hide. It's the one I'm using most of the time now. So this is it. The prime reason I use it so much is just so quick and easy to put up and take down again. Now I'm a major hide user. I like to sit in hides. So this is going up and down several times a week. And it's just so quick and easy to do. That's it, it's up. If, it, if it's not windy, then you don't need to put the tent pegs in, but there are hoops on the bottom of the hide for putting tent pegs in, and then there's guy, guy ropes on the side here. But if it's not windy, you don't have to bother with that. You've got the apertures at the front, a high one and the low one. There's apertures on the side as well. And at the back, there is a door, but I actually don't use the door all that often. I normally just sort of sit myself down on the stool with my camera, get inside, just like that. So it's the speed and ease of use. It's waterproof. I've been in heavy rain in it and the rain might run down the walls on the inside because there's so many apertures there, so many holes for the lenses to stick out of, but the roof itself doesn't leak. So it doesn't drip on your head. It's just water just runs down the front and the side of the, of the hide on the inside, but it doesn't do you any harm. Folding it. Probably the last time I did a review of this on YouTube, I said that nine times out of ten I folded it first time. I was thinking about this earlier. I can't remember the last time I failed to fold it first time. It's become quite easy to do now. You fold it flat, put the base at the floor and the top at the top. I always put my foot on it just to hold it. It's not actually strictly necessary, but it just means it doesn't slip. And it's just a question of how far do you bend it before you start to twist it? Well, it's like that. And then you just twist. And that's it, it's folded and goes back in the bag. So now we'll look at the, the Quilla Mark II hide, the two-person hide. Like the photo hide, it comes in a circular bag with straps on it, so you can put it onto your shoulder. This one weighs in at 3.9 kilo. Does take a little bit longer to put up, but it is still quick. Now that could be it. There are some fibre poles that thread in on the inside to make it more rigid, but you could actually use it just like that. It's 150 centimetres along the sides, and when the fibre poles are in, it's 150 centimetres high as well. There's not much difference between the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. The spring steel, these bars that are in here, is slightly stronger in the Mark 2. There's extra uh, camera apertures and then in slightly different positions, but it's fundamentally the, the same hide. We'll put the fiber poles in. So they go in just like a, a tent. And you can do it by just going inside the hide and threading them. To try and illustrate it, I'll turn the hide upside down. There are two fiber poles and they go in just like in a modern camping tent. There's these little pockets which you've got to push them into. It's a bit awkward at first when they're new, but once they become stretched, then they, the poles go in quite easily. And that pole goes into the opposite corner diagonally, and then the other pole goes in place from corner to corner. And where they cross at the top on the roof of the tent, there's a little tie just to secure them. And that just keeps the, the roof upright. 
There's a single pocket inside the hide for putting accessories in. Now the main advantage of a two-person hide, you can get two people in it. But the other advantage, if it's just you, you've got a lot more space, a lot more elbow room. And if I'm in a hide for a long session, which I might count as four hours plus, it's nice to have that bit of space. Room for your camera bag, room for your sandwiches, stretch your legs out when you want to. The disadvantage to a two-person hide, if you're doing a bird that's a little bit on the nervous side, the smaller the hide, the better. And that, that goes especially for height, but also width. So if your bird is a bit on the nervous side, then there is an advantage to using a small hide, but always your hide really should be up against something. So there's a pile of logs behind me. Ideally, if, if I was trying to photograph something here, I'd try and put the hide up next to those logs. So it's not out in the open and isolated. There's a door at the back. And it does have a, a bit of netting in there if you ever need it. I don't think I ever will. This is the, the one side and it's got a very large panel here. All the panels have got netting behind them. But the advantage of this side panel would be if you're doing a bird in flight and you need a, a large panning area where you've got to move the lens backwards and forwards that would be quite useful for that and it doesn't matter which way the hide faces there's a smaller aperture there too and there's peepholes all over the place so this is the front so now you've got four apertures all told for the camera. The netting behind here has got a gap in it to poke your lens through. So there's two at the top and two for the low angle pictures at the bottom and a couple of peepholes too. Now this side you've just got the two apertures for your camera higher up. Lower down there's a zipped aperture that's for poking a tripod leg out to give yourself a bit more space. Just one single leg outside the hide would help. Like the single person hide you can put guy ropes on, there's a tab on the side and more tabs for the tent pegs to go into the floor and they supply the, the tent pegs and the guy rope as well. It's a very attractive colour, it's an autumny leaf, but it looks very attractive and will fit in just about everywhere. There's two options when you buy the hide. You can buy it with this snoot or nursing sleeve, I, I tend to call it, and the lens just sticks out of there and then you pull the draw cord on it. Um, or just the standard en entry exit rather with the, the netting behind it. So it's an option. I prefer just to have the net in there. I used to have nursing sleeves in the old days when I did a lot of nest photography and I was maybe six feet away from a nest. You didn't want the bird to see your fingers moving behind the camera. But I don't do anything like that anymore. And um, there's not going to be many occasions when I would want to use a nursing sleeve. It's better for me if I have the netting there, I can see down the side of the lens and see what's happening. It makes it easier to pick your subject up as well when you're trying to find it in the lens. So I'm new to folding this one, but before I came out I did look on YouTube. There's quite a few demonstrations, not necessarily of the beauty of hide. There are some for the beauty of hide, but similar hides. And they're all of a very similar design. And uh, almost everybody who does it, does it in a slightly different way. Anyway, we're going to have a go at it. Obviously the first thing to do, take the fibre poles out from the roof. So you don't have to turn the hide upside down to do this. You could do it from the inside. I'm doing it this way because I can see what I'm doing, there's more light in there. And I'll make sure the door is done up. And then you fold it flat. Mm -hmm. 
and just like the photo hide the single person hide you put it the right way up top to the top and the the base at the floor now I'm going to fold it the other way to the photo hide so I'm going to fold it away from me and when I get to about there I'm going to grab this side and pull it in and twist it around and as I do the left hand side comes on top that was too easy I was expecting to struggle then there it is the Beautio Aquila Mark II two-person hide now because of lockdowns and social distancing I think it'll be a while before I get to share that hide with another photographer but there shouldn't be any problems there's plenty of room for two in between time I'm looking forward to the extra space and comfort that I can have all to myself in there it'd be nice to be able to spread out and put all my gear laid out neatly so I'm going to just get myself sorted out and comfy and uh, thanks for watching.